Hey there, my name is Bree from 1134 Press and this is the second episode in our series Finding Your Junk Journal Style where I'd like to talk about the three main components of layering in your junk journal. As we learned in our last video, your selection of ephemera is an essential element of design and artistic expression and will influence the way you decorate your page. So let's expand on that idea and talk about the ways that we use our ephemera to layer. Today I'll be collaging with ephemera from your creative studio vintage box. A link to their site is in the description below. And without getting overly complicated, layering happens in three parts. The base, the focal layer, and then the embellishment layer. These three parts are used everywhere in your projects, no matter if you're decorating a two-page spread or a tag. So let's start with the base. Your base can be as simple as using the page of your journal, no matter if it's white, pattern cardstock, or recycled material. Or your base could be layers of paper or fabric. Or your base could be made with stamping, paints, or whatever materials you're drawn to. The reason we create a base for our collages is to anchor the focal layer. It's a little home for the focal to live in. I'd like you to flip through your past pages and see if there are any commonalities with the type of base you used for your collages. Do you see similarities in materials and application? After doing this exercise, I'd like to ask myself if I were to recreate that entry, what else could I do? Could I change the color, add more paper, use less? Thinking about your art in this way helps expand your imagination on what else you could do with the techniques and materials that you already love and feel comfortable with. I believe this to be true for every step of the layering process. Your individual style will shine through, through repetition and experimentation. So onward to the second layer, which I am calling focal. The focal doesn't always have to be an image. It could also be your writing, or it could be a cluster of texture and so forth. This is the piece that the eye catches first. It's the thing that you don't want to fade into the background. The way you showcase your focal piece can say a lot about your personal style. Where the base is primarily concerned with the materials and techniques that you use, I believe that style really shines through in the focal layer based on the position you place your focal. Is it skewed on one side more than the other? Is it slightly concealed by embellishments or paints? Is it front and center and dominant? Does it move across the page? The embellishment layer is my favorite. It is the tiny details that accentuates the focal layer and is a bridge between the focal and base. Style comes through in this aspect of layering based off of your position, the materials you use, but also the quantity. And by quantity, I mean by how much or how little that you embellish. Embellishments could be as simple as a little strip of washi or a sticker on the corner or splashes of paint. Or it could also be voluminous, like a bundle of lace and pearls and tassels. Style is about choices, and although those choices are infinite, which I find overwhelming at times, the reality is that we do creative journaling because it's fun and a carefree way of artistic expression. Don't let overthinking stop you from collaging in your journals. Style is cultivated through repetition. If you're looking for more layering tips, I recommend that you watch the next video that I'll preview at the end. And I also want to remind you to join our Facebook group so you can share photos of your junk journal pages and book projects. We have a community of over 300 people now that are just posting every day um, of all the work that they've created over the weeks. So I'd like to close out this video with a little journal with me session. I haven't done that in a while since I smashed my little finger. Um, and now that we are all healed and ready to go, um, I hope you stick around for some chill vibes of me just working in my journal. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.
If you're new to this channel, my name is Bree from 1134 Press, where we share bookmaking, journaling, and papercraft inspiration to help creative journalers document their lives. And if you're a junk journaling beginner that struggles with creating balance on your pages, keep watching because I'm going to share some of the common mistakes that make pages feel cluttered. So your parcels of papers, stickers, and stamps just arrive and you're feeling that new stationary haul energy. You barely get the packaging plastic off before you start sticking things on the page. Or maybe you're eager to de-stash and use your scraps. Regardless of how you got there, the first mistake is not taking the time to plan the placement of your materials. A lot of creative journaling is about relying on intuition. However, making a plan as simple as just decorating the borders is enough of a guide to help your creative intuition flourish.